Hi, and welcome back to Break 100 Golf. I'm John. You're going to love today's video because I'm going to go over my top 20 golf courses in GS Pro. Now, before I get started, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel right now. It'll really help the channel to grow and allow me to continue to bring content just like this to YouTube. Now, talking about my top 20, my top 20 does not have any of the Patreon golf courses in it, just golf courses that are publicly available. And right now, GS Pro has over 700 golf courses, which is absolutely incredible. So I'm not going to rank the top 20. I'm just gonna put them out there, but I am going to go over my top 10 as I go through all of them. Now, this doesn't mean that my golf courses are gonna be in your top 10. This is just a tool to help people that may not be as familiar with these golf courses or people that are not familiar with GS Pro to give them some idea of some of the better golf courses that I've come across in GS Pro. I believe that all 20 of these golf courses should be considered for your library. Uh, I would love to hear some of your favorite or best GS Pro golf courses in the comments. So I'm gonna go through each one and then I'm gonna do a flyover. I'll tell you a little bit about each one. And then somewhere in the middle, uh, I'm gonna do some course play at Central Park North, which is one of my top two favorite golf courses right now. And it's also in my top 10. Graphically, it's very good. All right, let's get started. So my first golf course I'm gonna go over is True North. True North is 6,839 yards long. It does have wide fairways and a deep wood setting, and there's plenty of elevated tees. The course was designed by the great Bangini. I'm gonna do a flyover next, and the flyover is going to be of hole number 11. My next golf course on my top 20 is Cape Kidnappers, and this is in my top 10. And the golf course is 7,129 yards long. It is scenic and wide open golf. Uh, the water views are absolutely amazing, and this is a bucket list for a lot of people. Uh, if the golf course is in New Zealand. It's a, it's a tremendous golf course. The golf course was designed by POB16 or POB16, and here's a flyover. Next golf course is Prairie Knolls, and Prairie Knolls is 6,988 yards long. It is graphically stunning, and it does have narrow fairways, so it is challenging, but it is really fun to play. The golf course was designed by Run Pud Run and CE.SimGolf. Here's a flyover. Next course on my top 20 is Sanctuary. The golf course is 6,946 yards long. It does have high elevated tees. If you want to impress your friends with easy 300 yard drives, the hole number one has an 83 yard elevated tee box. And the golf course just has, you know, rolling hills with mountain views, just really a great looking golf course. This golf course was designed by Mashi. Here's a flyover of hole number one. Next golf course is the Golf Club of Phoenix. This is in my top 10. It is 7,301 yards long. It's in a desert setting with mountains in the background. It does have many iconic holes as well as well-designed GS Pro course. And I just feel really lucky to be able to play this golf course at home on my golf sim. Uh, it's part of the greatness of GS Pro. And this was designed by Run, Pud Run and R Dare. Here is a flyover. Next golf course on my list is DPC Sodgrass. This is also in my top 10. 
The golf course is 7,245 yards long. In the real world, this is my absolute favorite golf course on tour. The course is just absolutely beautiful and the tournament there is actually wrapping up the day that I make this video. The 17th hole island green on this golf course is certainly one of the most iconic holes in the world. Now this golf course was designed by DPR-OPCD. Here's a flyover of hole number 17. Next golf course in my top 20 is DPC Pebble. This is also in my top 10. It is 7,082 yards long. It does have some of the best scenic views in GS Pro, a real world bucket list golf course for sure. This is one that your friends will want to play when they come over. And it does have iconic holes throughout. And this golf course was designed by Cook23 and Soupy. Here's a flyover of hole number seven. All right, the next golf course in my top 20 is the Georgia Golf Club. This is also in my top 10. This golf course is 7,579 yards long. It does have narrow fairways and is very challenging to play because of that. Obviously in the real world, this is one of the absolute best golf courses in the world. And really one of the best golf courses in GS Pro. Some think it is the best. This golf course was designed by TechBud. Here's a flyover of hole number 12. The next golf course on my list is Premonition. And this is a fictional golf course. It is 6,857 yards long. It does have scenic ocean views on every single hole. It is very relaxing to play. Uh, it's got interesting terrain and just well-designed greens. The golf course was designed by Jay Yet 2001 Here's a flyover of hole number six. Next golf course in my top 20 is also in my top 10, and that is Cabot Cliffs. It is 6,692 yards long. This is one of the absolute best looking golf courses in GS Pro by far, by one of GS Pro's best designers, TechBud. It has realistic ocean views and you can see for virtual miles. Here's a flyover of hole number 10. Next golf course is Gray Wolf. Gray Wolf is 7,052 yards long. This is also in my top 10 and currently one of my top two favorite golf courses to play. It's set in the hills in a pine forest uh, with Mountain Peak in the background. The course looks absolutely great. You'll even see a wolf walking around uh, the golf course. One time I actually had one walk towards me, which was really cool. This golf course was designed by T squared. Here's a flyover of hole number 11. Next golf course in my top 20 is Central Park North. This is also in my top 10 and my favorite golf course to play right now. It does have forgiving wide fairways and the city is in the background. It just looks absolutely amazing and plays incredible. Graphically, it's absolutely stunning. It was designed by Run Pud Run and R Dare. I'm gonna do a flyover of hole number 15 and then I'm gonna play five minutes of Central Park North course play in GS Pro. It's about five minutes long, so if you don't wanna watch that, just go skip ahead about five minutes and then I'll finish up the rest of my list. I believe I have nine left of the 20. But here's a flyover and then five minutes of course play on Central Park North.
This hole is a 231 yard par three. I hit a three hybrid. It's gone left, but that's okay. It's down there, 220 yards. Nice. All right, next hole, 160 yard par three. I am going to hit an eight iron. Got to get it to stop. Nice. All right, that's par. All right, hole number seven. Great view of the city, 317 yard par four. Eighty six yards left. Uh, probably had a fifty six degree here. That should be good. Nope, too far. That's fine. I think that's par. Yeah. All right, short hole, one hundred and seventeen yards, par three. We hit a gap wedge. Right in there. Stop. Nope. It's still par. Nice. All right. Next hole is a 380 yard par four. One forty eight to the pin. I'll hit a nine iron here. That should be all over it. Not quite. All right, next hole is hole number 12, 182 yard par three. I'm gonna hit an easy five hybrid. Oh, that's going left. Oh well. Still have a chance to get up and down for par. Sixty degree. And there it is. All right, next hole, hole number 13, 380 yard par four. All right, 139 to the hole, I'm gonna hit a nine iron. That'll work. All right, next hole, 143 yard par three. It's gonna hit a nine iron.
Nice, didn't stay in there, but still be par. All right, getting back into the top 20. Central Park South is the next golf course. This is also a fictional golf course, 7,384 yards long. This is like the North Course and it's excellent. The fairways are narrower than the North Course, but the views are equally as good. This is designed by Run Pud Run and Ardair, the same two people. And here's a flyover of hole number two. Next golf course is Wynn Golf Club. It is 6,720 yards long. It's in Las Vegas, so you've got the view of Las Vegas in the background, which adds to the fun of the golf course. Uh, has plenty of intricate detail in this one. It just looks great and is an excellent golf course. It was designed by All Arms and R. Dare. Here's a flyover of hole number nine. Next golf course in my top 20 is Payne's Valley. And Payne's Valley is 7,376 yards long. This is in my top 10. This course is graphically stunning. It has everything. It has water holes. It has some elevated tees, you know, well-placed bunkers, wide fairways, perfect scenery. Easily one of GS Pro's best golf courses in the real world. This is Tiger Woods' first design from his design company. It was designed by Run Pud Run. Here is a flyover of hole number five. Next golf course in my top 20 is Bear Mountain. It is 6,721 yards long. It has an island green on hole number 10, uh, many elevated tees, and the par five 18th hole is awesome. This golf course does not have any credit given to a designer. Here's a flyover of hole number 12. Next golf course in my top 20 is Whispering Pines. It is 7,006 yards long. It's a GS Pro fan favorite for sure. It will be in a lot of people's top 10, that's for sure. This golf course was designed by three designers, OPCD-Sting, DPR, and JM. Here's a flyover of hole number two. Next golf course in my top 20 is Fisher's Island. It is 6,592 yards long. It's a very challenging and interesting golf course. You'll love the ocean views on this one. This course is a lot of fun to play. This golf course was designed by TechBud. Here's a flyover of hole number 17. Next golf course in my top 20 is Revelstoke. This golf course is also in my top 10. It is 6,537 yards long. It is the shortest course on my list. You have to see this one for yourself. It really looks incredible. It has a mountain backdrop on every hole. Uh, it's really just a must have course. It looks so great on the ultra setting. Uh, the golf course was designed by Rusty Dave and Jay Gixrod 3. Here's a flyover of hole number eight.
The last golf course in my top 20 is Whistler Nicholas North. And it is 6,865 yards long. It's a lot like Revelstoke. There's even a seaplane docked like near the 15th green. It's really interesting. It's a remote mountain view experience. It's very relaxing to play this golf course if you play well. Another great looking scenic course. Here's a flyover of hole number 15. Well, that's gonna be about it for today's video. I certainly do appreciate you watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button and share it with your friends that may be interested in GS Pro. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel right now. That really help my channel to grow and allow me to continue to bring content just like this to YouTube. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.